Hi, Gordon of RR Tool Solutions here. I want to talk in just a minute about uh, TPMS, Tire Pressure Monitoring System. We've got a orange electronic that we've teamed up with to bring you an exclusive product of theirs. It's a entire tire, tire pressure monitoring system. I've had one installed on this Honda for the last four and a half years. I installed it in April of 2012. I've put about 20,000 miles on it since then and it has worked flawlessly. Uh, the front tire sensor has gone bad only because the battery has run out. It had a three year battery, it's been four and a half years, and it's time for a new one. So in checking into the upgrades, I realized um, how much I like this unit and wanted to carry those as part of our line. Um, we are officially a, the authorized U.S. dealer for these. Today we're going to run down and take our tires to Dothan Power Sports down in Dothan, Alabama. Um, and Lee down there is going to help us take the tire off. We're going to install our entire sensor and bring these things back fully balanced, put them on the bike, and we're ready to go. What we're going to show you is a mock-up of the installation. What you have here is a digital display and I'm going to pull this protective tape off. This particular unit, this exact unit, will go in the place of this one here. This is the old two, M2002. These were made from 2009 to 2012. Um, if you have one of the older M202 units, you might want to consider upgrading to the M203. The M203 brings some features about that we'll tell you um, to include both tire pressure uh, monitoring, tire pressure warning, tire temperature monitoring, tire temperature warning, as well as bike voltage and sensor voltage front and rear. What the system consists of is of course this unit, this display unit that we'll demonstrate here in a minute, and two entire sensors. Um, you know, for us, we don't even consider those screw-on cap type uh, to be viable it's only because they are forced to uh, compromise the Schrader valve. Uh, the only way they can work is to get air past the Schrader valve, read the pressure. They can't read temperature. They're not going to send you a signal on battery strength. This is the way to go. Let's talk about what's in the box. What's in the box is going to be this digital display. This digital display has a lot of features. We'll get into those later in the video to show you. It comes with two entire sensors. These are mounted inside the tire. Um, we've got one in the back end of this ST, which is a good uh, uh, two or three yards away from us. We've got one in the front tire here. We're going to take and do deflation to show the, um, the loss of pressure in the warning system. But it comes with two tire pressure monitors, one for the front and one for the rear. These are individually replaceable. Uh, we have these uh, in our store and um, we'll sell you this unit. The purchase of this comes with an automatic one-year guarantee. Uh, full replacement warranty, you have a problem, we ship you another one the next day. Uh, if you register on our website, you will get an extended 12-month warranty for a total of 24 months. And there we are. The top display is for the front, the bottom display is for the rear. You've got a couple of different functions that you can go through. Let, let me show this. Here. There are three functions. This is function one, and what it's doing, it's toggling between tire pressure, front and rear, and tire temperature front and rear. This is in PSI and Fahrenheit. We can also go to mode two, which gives us a static display of front and rear tire pressure. Or we can go to mode three, which is the temperature front and rear. I gotta hold, hold it down for three seconds, and what it shows you is the voltage of each sender's battery. 2.9 volts is fully charged. Again, three seconds, 2.9, 2.9. Gives you a clean bill of health and lets you check on that tire pressure sensor battery. First thing we do, get ready to ride. We come in and we turn on our motorcycle. This power lead goes to a switched voltage. Uh, this has a white antenna wire in it. You will not want to cut this wire because of the fact that it carries the antenna. You can see that our rear tire is already acquired, our front tire is already acquired. This is picking up the rear tire on that Honda over there, three yards away. It's picking up the front tire here. We have 42 PSI in the front, 40 in the rear. We press the function key and we go to 62 degrees in the front, 53 degrees in the rear. 
we have 12 volts to our system. Now, the idea behind the voltage meter, we'll get it back into the TPS, is that this will tell you about your condition of your battery as well as your charging system. So as soon as you were to start your engine, you should see the alternator. What we've done is just hooked up a, a battery charger. Um, and we wanted to just kind of show the accuracy. Twelve point three nine, twelve point four, twelve point four, twelve. You can see the correlation. We're going to slowly let the air out of our out of our tire. Now, what we have here, this unit is capable of seventy four psi. Um, you can use it for KPA. You can use it for VAR. You can set it up however you want to. We have our warning set up for fifty four psi on the high side. We have it set for twenty eight and twenty nine pounds on the low side. What that means is our unit is going to let you know as soon as there's danger. As soon as there's something wrong, it's going to let you know. To demonstrate that, what I'm going to do is slowly let the air out of this front tire. What you doing? So we brought it down to a low of 24. Um, I'm going to put this back to the recommended 42 PSI. And there we are.